The city of Plummer is not the biggest dot on the map, but after last night's election, it's getting statewide attention. If you blink too long driving through downtown, you might miss it. Especially if you were too busy looking at the Paulette Jordan for governor sign, you pass first thing on your way in. It's that kind of town. Well, everybody knows everyone. A town of 1,044, where the market is the place to be. You know, a smile and a nod goes a long way. It's where locals gather over coffee in the morning and then go shopping later in the afternoon. It's where you can catch up on all the town's latest going-ons. People like me, we go in a couple times a day. Um, it's a good way to see, you know, people maybe you didn't see yesterday. You know. And today, all the chatter for you know our small community, it's it's big news. Was about one thing. You know, my daughter, she was totally shocked this morning to wake up and see the news. One of their own, a plumber resident, a tribe member, and a woman was one step closer than anybody expected her to be to the top spot in Idaho. She's an educated person. She worked hard. And no stranger to Idaho politics. She's served on the town's tribal council and has done her rounds in the state legislature. For those that grew up with her, like her cousin Rosanna, it was no surprise she's won yet again. We knew she was going to go far in life. So. But this time, her win is something special for the town of Plummer and especially its tribal members. We come with, from voices that have been kind of stomped out in history. Um, so I feel like it's, it's big for our voices to be heard. Even if Jordan's ultimate victory might be a long shot in Ruby Red, Idaho, there are a whole lot of folks that couldn't be prouder she's made it this far. And as we head into the general election come November, you can bet the residents of small town Plummer will be watching closely. I'm Hawk Hammer, KSOY 4 News.